sirens should be going off in the Walnut Grove areas right now uh, because of this dangerous weather situation. We also have a tornado warning that remains in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. That is for southeastern Wright County. We have a tornado warning for central Dade County until 8 o'clock. That's the Greenfield area and Lockwood as well. A tornado and quarter size hail possible with that particular storm. Uh, we'll send it to Joe Rios, who is out to already tracking these storms and chasing them to the northwest of Springfield. But first of all, let's go to Jason Rima, who's monitoring this uh, tornado warned cell in northwest Green County and southwestern Polk County on KTTS Interactive Radar. All right, Don, I'm seeing uh, some very heavy rain right around the Walnut Grove area, as you mentioned, that is moving uh, to the northeast. And so for you folks in the Aldrich and Morrisville areas, you need to be taking uh, shelter there. Uh, been trying to listen to uh, some scanner traffic from storm spotters just to see what they're seeing right now. It is very dangerous, of course, to be storm spotting at night, but uh, they're out there doing that, and we're, we've got our folks out there too. On the radar here on KTTS Interactive Radar, uh, not able to see yet uh, if we've got any kind of rotation at all, but uh, again, just uh, something where you need to be taking shelter. This is moving off to the northeast. That's not the only tornado warning that we have. We also have one uh, that is uh, still in effect until 8.15 for, uh, let's see, we've got uh, multiple ones here in the metro area. We've got one until 8 o'clock for Central Dade County. So uh, that is still dumping some pretty heavy rainfall in the Lockwood area right now, headed toward Greenfield. And then also one uh, dumping some pretty heavy rain in the Round Grove and Miller areas. And that one is headed northeast toward Everton and ash grove as well and finally a couple of other tornado warnings still in effect one around the mountain grove area uh some heavy rain there east northeast of, or rather east of springfield and also some heavy rain uh west of van zandt i'm jason Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Lawrence County, northwestern Green County, southeastern Dade County, until 8.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 7.41 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms capable of producing a tornado were located along a line extending from 6 miles southeast of Lockwood to near Miller, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Ash Grove, Miller, Everton, Howtown, Pennsboro. This includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 52 and 62. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. This line of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Uh, and uh, as I uh, zoom in on a KTTS Interactive Radar, and the Mountain Grove area, still some heavy rain just uh, north of Mountain Grove. Uh, and then the area of concern looks to be just uh, slightly south of the town there, of Mountain Grove. So you need to be taking shelter if you're there. We did have, uh, let's see, that's going to be a different uh, town than what I'm looking at. We've also had a couple of reports from the Weather Service, uh, possibly some uh, damage uh, showing up on their radar about six miles south of Greenfield. Some possible storm damage there and also north of Walnut Grove, uh, possible debris signature there as well. So those are a couple of areas 
they're going to be checking out uh, to see if there's any kind of a touchdown at all from a tornado. Right now, nothing confirmed uh, is what we want to say. No confirmed touchdowns at either one of those locations. But those are a couple of areas that are under tornado uh, warnings at the moment. All right, let's send it to Joe Rios, who is uh, tracking the storms now northwest of Springfield. Joe. Yeah, now we're uh, currently on 160, uh, just getting into Willard right now. As we made our way in out of Springfield, a lot of rainfall. There's a big lightning bolt there. Um, there was a lot of traffic that pulled to the side of the road because the rainfall was coming down so fast, even with the high speed on your wipers, it's just not enough because it was coming down really fast and the wind adding to that really reducing visibility. So if you're traveling anywhere in this area, just be aware. Uh, right now it's let up just a bit. We're in Willard right now, but like I said, further to the south, uh, the storm system continues to track a lot of heavy rainfall to deal with and still seeing, uh, uh, kind of keeping an eye on the clouds as we look into the north and the east, uh, not as far as completely dark, but you can a little see the image of the cloud and the separation. So we're keeping an eye on that as we start heading closer uh, towards that area, towards Walnut Grove. Joe Rios, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. Okay, Joe, we just got word. Uh, well, first of all, we got word the Green County OEM is sounding the outdoor warning signs from Walnut Grove and Ash Grove. But just as we got that word, we also received word from the National Weather Service that the tornado warning for northwestern Green County has been canceled. The tornadic thunderstorm that prompted that warning has moved out of the area. Therefore, that warning has been canceled. There is, however, another tornado warning in effect for western Green County. So the northwest Green County warning is canceled. However, we do still have a tornado warning uh, that is in effect uh, for the other part. Uh, that's uh, for uh, western Green County. So we've had a couple of different Green County warnings. Uh, the one for western Green County also includes southwestern Polk County. That warning goes until 815. A tornado warning as well for northeastern Lawrence and southeastern Dade counties until 815. Central Dade County until 8 o'clock and uh, the National Weather Service has allowed that uh, tornado warning for southeastern Wright County uh, to expire, I believe. And then also, uh, let's see here, tornado warning for northeastern Douglas County has been allowed to expire as well. Uh, sirens have been activated in the Bolivar area. Uh, we've had reports of uh, lightning hitting a house off of AB Highway. Uh, sirens activated in the Morrisville area right now. So a very dangerous storm, northwest Green County. Make sure that you take shelter if you are in the path of that storm. Uh, let's see here. So northwest Green County canceled, and we have one for western Green County, northeastern Douglas County expiring. All right, so here's the latest on uh, the tornado warning for Northwest Green and Northeastern Lawrence County. This is just coming over from the National Weather Service and also for Southeastern Dade. A uh, severe squall line that is capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight line wind damage was located near Everton, moving uh, s uh, east at 35 miles per hour. So that's between Everton and Greenfield. Uh, if you're in the Ash Grove, Pennsboro, and Everton areas, you need to be taking shelter now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building and avoid windows. If you're outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle, get into the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Uh, that's why we are going with our wall-to-wall -wall weather coverage right now on our Summit Media Core stations in Springfield on uh, not only KTTS but Power 96.5, 106.7 The River, and KSGF uh, because of this tornado warning that does impact the uh, Springfield metro area in northwestern Greene County. Now, we want to stress that none of these tornado warnings are in effect for the city of Springfield proper. These are just northwest of the city, so that's why you're not hearing the warning sirens going off in Springfield, but if you're going up toward the Ash Grove area, you are hearing them. This is the northwestern part of Greene County as well as northeastern Lawrence County and southeastern Dade counties under this tornado warning until 8:15. Let's check in again with Joe Rios, who is uh, to the northwest of Springfield tracking these storms. Uh, we've gotten reports that the uh, circulation between Walnut Grove and Morrisville is weakening just a little bit. Uh, Joe, what is the latest uh, that you have up there? Yeah, Alex, I'm uh, in Willard now. We're turning back around. We're going to head back south, uh, head towards the uh, outer edge of uh, Springfield as far as along the bypass. As far as up here, it's just like it's completely changed. The rain has completely stopped. Um, it's kind of a calm wind. Unlike earlier, when we were traveling out of Springfield up, heavy rainfall, uh, very windy. Uh, we can see a lot of as far as the clouds as they're moving in. As you look, still continue to the north and east, very dark uh, 
uh, clouds there as opposed to the, uh, if you look to the south and west, but you can still see a lot of wind as far as that's moving through. And uh, just take your time if you're out there, if you're commuting this evening uh, on the highway and you see anything like this as far as take shelter immediately, of course, with the warned areas. But if you have to pull over, just be sure to uh, uh, throw on those flashing hazard lights just to let people know that you are stopping on the side of the road. That's already happened a few times already this evening. Joe Rios, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. KTTS Storm Chaser first alert. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. This is going to be for a pretty wide area. Hickory County, Dallas County, southeastern Cedar County, Polk, as well as northeastern Dade Counties. This goes until 845. This is part of a long line of thunderstorms, a squall line of storms that's located along a line extending from near Warsaw down to Wablo. It is moving east at 35 miles per hour, 60 mile an hour winds possible. Bolivar area, Palm de Terre Lake, Truman Lake, Stockton State Park, Lake of the Ozarks even included in this as parts of Camden County are under this severe thunderstorm warning until 845. Humansville as well. Plus, for our listeners in Polk County, uh, we continue to have a tornado warning that is in effect for southwestern Polk County until 815. If you're in Morrisville or Eudora, please take shelter. You are not out of the woods yet. Uh, the Weather Service uh, said uh, something about a tornado being on the ground in those areas. Take cover now. Uh, so we'll uh, continue to track that very closely tonight. And the uh, tornado warning for central Dade County is being allowed to expire at 8 o'clock. The storms that prompted that warning have moved out of the area. Uh, let's see, 35-mile-an-hour uh, wind gusts uh, down in Pineville to the southwest of Springfield. We've had reports in the Squires area of a barn destroyed and trees uprooted uh, north of Highway JJ and Highway 5. Mountain Grove Fire Department apparently has some pictures of a funnel cloud just west of, west of Mountain Grove. Don't know how earlier or how long ago that was from. Now we're getting word from emergency management in Greene County that Walnut Grove is reporting a tornado on the ground moving northeast of Highway 215. So, Joe, keep heading up that way toward the Walnut Grove area. Again, uh, emergency management saying that Walnut Grove is reporting a tornado on the ground uh, northeast of Highway 215. Uh, we also have uh, more flash flood warnings coming in. Hickory, Cedar, Polk, St. Clair, northeastern Dade counties until 1.45 a.m., uh, we have a good chunk of our KTTS listening area now under a flash flood warning. So that's the other big danger tonight is this uh, rain, heavy torrential rain that is causing flash flooding to occur. And that's tough because you're not going to be able to see that after dark and you're certainly not going to be able to see some of these tornadoes either. So make sure that you are taking shelter right now if you're in the Walnut Grove area. Uh, because uh, there uh, may be a tornado on the ground that is uh, about a half mile across, uh, moving high, uh, northeast of Highway 215. Uh, we are getting reports of some homes damaged off of Highway W, off of Highway 14 East. Uh, let's see here. So here are the warnings that we have right now, because there are several of them where you need to be taking shelter right now. We have a tornado warning that remains in effect until 815 for northeastern Lawrence northwestern green and southeastern dade counties this does include the ash grove and everton areas a tornado warning in effect um, until 8 15 uh, for those areas now we have a tornado warning in effect until 8 15 for southwestern polk county as well we have a tornado warning for um southern wright county that is going to expire here at eight o'clock that's for southeastern wright county and then we have several severe thunderstorm warnings including a new one that's getting ready to come in. Uh, the ones that we have right now for Hickory County, Dallas, southeastern Cedar, Polk County, northeastern Dade counties. That uh, warning goes until 845 tonight. KTTS Storm Chaser First Alert. And the National Weather Service has now issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Newton, McDonald, Barry, and southern Lawrence counties until 8.45 p.m. These storms located along a line extending from near Mount Vernon to near Southwest City, moving east at 40 miles per hour. 60-mile-an-hour winds and quarter-size hail are possible with these storms. Aurora, Cassville, Anderson, Marionville, Mount Vernon, Exeter, Verona, Pineville. You need to be taking uh, shelter, even though this is not a tornado warning, but uh, it's, uh, you don't want to be outside in this because uh, we can have some uh, pretty strong winds with this storm. If you're on I-44, this is between the 40 and the 52-mile markers. If you're on Interstate 49, this is between the 1 and 10-mile markers. 
Uh, so this is a, a storm where intense lines can produce brief tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Although a tornado is not immediately likely with this particular line of storms, it is best to move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. These storms may cause serious injury and significant property damage. Again, that's a severe thunderstorm warning that's just been issued for southeastern Newton, McDonald, Barry, and southern Lawrence counties off to the south and west of Springfield until 845 tonight. A severe thunderstorm warning as well for Hickory, Dallas, southeastern St. Clair, or excuse me, southeastern Cedar, uh, Polk County, as well as uh, western, uh, northeastern Dade County, and uh, that also includes parts of Morgan and Camden County up around the Lake of the Ozarks area. Tornado warning until 815. That's for northeastern Lawrence, northwestern Green, and southeastern Dade Counties, Ashgrove area. Uh, the tornado warning still in effect till 815 for southwestern Polk County. Uh, let's uh, check in again with Joe Rios, who's tracking these storms off to the north of Springfield in the KTTS Glenstone Roofing uh, Mobile Unit. Joe? Yeah, we are approaching uh, uh, right at the crossroad of 160 and 123, heading towards Walnut Grove, and you can uh, definitely see the, the change in the weather patterns. We're just a few min uh, miles out from there. A lot more lightning. Uh, rainfall has picked up quite a bit, and uh, you can see the wind is starting to pick up a bit with the uh, trees as I'm approaching the highway here and uh, heading to continue heading north and west towards this area. Uh, just keep in mind, if you're on the road where you had a few cars that pulled over already uh, earlier with the amount of rainfall, the rainfall is picking up quite a bit in this area, and the wind is very strong as well. Joe Rios, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. Jason Ryman continues to track these storms on KTTS Interactive Radar. Jason, what are you seeing? Uh, checking out a couple of tornado warnings that we have. Just uh, quickly, very heavy rainfall still northwest of Morrisville and up toward the Bolivar area. Uh, also, some very heavy rain uh, with that other tornado warning that's still uh, affecting uh, Everton and uh, back toward the Miller area. Lots of heavy rain mixed in with that. We've got a lot of heavy rain out there this afternoon or this evening. Uh, let's see. Uh, basically, stretches from around Hermitage back toward Wablo and Urbana, down toward Bolivar and Fair Play and the Stockton area. And then we've got uh, some heavy rain toward uh, Morrisville, Dadeville, Arcola, Greenfield, Everton, Round Grove, Miller. Uh, south of there in Mount Vernon, and uh, also uh, back uh, with this other line of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings that we have from around Mount Vernon uh, down toward uh, Aurora, Monat, Purdy, Wheaton, and the uh, Cassville and Neosho areas over toward Knoll. Uh, one other area to watch out for if you're over in the Mountain Grove area, Norwood and Dawson, still getting some very heavy rainfall there, and uh, that's from that storm from earlier this afternoon. I'm Jason Rima, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. All right, folks, thanks for uh, staying with us tonight. We continue to track severe storms across the Ozarks, and we're going live now on all of our stations in Springfield, including uh, KTTS as well as KSGF, Power 96.5, and 106.7 The River, and that's because we do still have a tornado warning in effect for part of the Springfield metro area. This is for uh, northwestern Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have another tornado warning. Stand by for that one. Uh, we continue to have a tornado warning for northwestern Green, southeastern Dade, and northeastern Lawrence counties. This does include the Ash Grove area and Pennsboro. We had a report of Walnut Grove a few minutes ago reporting a tornado on the ground northeast of Highway 215. So this is still a very dangerous weather situation for northwest Green County, as well as up into uh, the uh, uh, Everton area in southeastern Dade County. Uh, we have a tornado warning that remains in effect until 815 for southwestern Polk County. This is Morrisville and Eudora. Uh, and then we have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings, including uh, ones for eastern Cedar, Polk, northwestern Green, and eastern Dade counties until 815. Hickory, Dallas, southeastern Cedar, Polk, and northeastern Dade counties until 845. Southeastern Newton, McDonald, Barry, and southern Lawrence counties, a uh, severe thunderstorm warning that goes until 845, and also numerous splash flood warnings. Now, here is the uh, latest tornado warning that's been issued by the National Weather Service. KTTS Storm Chaser First Alert. National Weather Service issuing a tornado warning for southeastern Wright County until 845. This is a storm that's capable of producing a tornado located near Norwood, and it is uh, also near the Mountain Grove area, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Not only a tornado is possible with this, but a half-dollar size hail as well. Mountain Grove, uh, Simmons, uh, Elk Creek, even Kabul, because it does include part of Texas County as well. You're under the gun until 845 tonight with a tornado warning for southeastern Wright County. 
Uh, let's see. And then we have uh, more flash flood warnings that are coming in. We'll just go ahead and give you the rundown here. Uh, Newton, McDonald, Barry, Lawrence, southeastern Jasper, and southern Dade counties under a flash flood warning now until 2 a.m. Joe, uh, how far northwest of Springfield are you, and uh, what are you experiencing uh, up that way? Just approaching uh, 160 uh, between Willard and Ash Grove, and we're heading towards Ash Grove where we see a little bit more uh, heavier winds. I just noticed that shift as I was tracking more to the uh, north and west in that direction. Uh, more winds and a heavier rain is starting to fall. Uh, as far as uh, anything I've noticed in the sky, nothing as far as any kind of rotation of anything like that. But do take your time out. There's a lot more traffic than expected out here. I don't know if everybody's getting off home from work or coming into town. But uh, take your time. I've seen a lot of vehicles that have, uh, let's say, uh, go, are going over the speed limit well over. And with the amount of rainfall and visibility reduced, can cause that to be a bit hazardous. Joe Rios, KTPS, Storm Chaser Coverage. All right, Joe, good words of advice there, and we continue to track severe weather across the Ozarks, and we will continue until this warning for uh, the metro area is lifted. Continue to go wall-to-wall uh, with our weather coverage. You're listening to continuous severe weather coverage on 94.7 today's KTTS Springfield, 106.7 The River KRVI Mount Vernon, Power 96.5 KSPW Sparta Springfield, and News Talk KSGF Ash Grove Springfield. All right, and as we start the eight o'clock hour, we continue to get new warnings, but we also continue to get uh, we continue to get warnings that have been uh, canceled as well. The tornado warning for northeastern Lawrence County has been canceled because the storm has moved out of that area. However, the tornado warning remains in effect until eight fifteen for northwestern Greene and southeastern Dade counties. This is a severe squall line capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight line wind damage. It's located in the Ash Grove area and it's moving northeast at thirty five miles per hour. So we do have Joe Rios up in that area area tonight. He'll continue to provide updates as we protect you from that storm. Uh, Ash Grove, Everton, the uh, areas that are being impacted by this storm, you do need to be taking shelter if you're in those areas. Again, want to stress that the city of Springfield is not involved in any of these warnings right now. Uh, we've had no tornado warnings, not even a severe thunderstorm warning that includes the city of Springfield. But in Greene County and really uh, scattered across southwest Missouri, we've had uh, numerous severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings this afternoon and tonight. Uh, Lawrence County, uh, their uh, law enforcement is reporting a tornado on the ground uh, southwest of Mountain Grove and that there's power flashes that are occurring over in that area. Also, the National Weather Service has canceled the tornado warning for Polk County. Uh, that was uh, South Central Polk County that was supposed to go until 8 o'clock, and it has been allowed to expire. All right, Jason Ryan, I'm going to send it back to you. Uh, by the way, got reports that the flooding uh, flooding's really bad in the Joplin uh, metro area right now. Uh, what are you seeing, jo uh, Jason? Yeah, the Joplin area really has been pounded. A lot of people have been uh, pounded this afternoon by these uh, storms as they move through. Let's take a look at one of the tornado warnings that we do have in effect right now. This one affecting uh, folks in Everton and Ash Grove and Walnut Air Grove areas. Uh, that's going to be headed off to the east, and so very heavy rainfall there, especially between Everton and uh, Ash Grove right now. The other tornado warning is over east of Springfield in parts of Wright and uh, Texas counties right now. Heavy rain still around Mountain Grove and north of there. Uh, folks in the Kabul and Simmons areas, you need to be taking shelter as well because this one has uh, produced quite a bit of rainfall there, especially in the Mountain Grove area. Uh, right along the, the uh, Texas and Wright County line this evening. Uh, let's talk a little bit, too, about what we're dealing with with some of these other severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, we still have a lot of heavy rain north of Springfield from around oh, the Cross Timbers area over toward Quincy, Hermitage, Wablo, Elkton, Urbana, and Humansville. Uh, back south uh, toward uh, Dunnigan, Bolivar, Fair Play, and Aldrich. Uh, even some around the uh, Pleasant Hope and Morrisville area. And then, of course, that heavy stuff around Dadeville and Everton over toward Ash Grove, uh, Chesapeake, and Mount Vernon. Uh, and then we've been mentioning, too, that we still have some heavy stuff uh, southwest of there. Uh, that's going to be affecting areas around East Newton and Fairview, Stella, Goodman, Anderson, and Pineville and Exeter. So uh, a lot of folks getting that heavy rain. It's basically a squall line to the west of Springfield right now. We do have that tornado warning just west of Springfield for a small part of uh, – Looks like uh, Dade and uh, Western Greene County. But uh, otherwise, uh, what's behind that seems to be just uh, 
uh, mild rain that we're getting right now at the moment. I'm Jason Rima, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. All right, let's send it back out to Joe Rio, so the Glowstone Roofing KTTS Storm Chaser mobile unit. And, uh, Joe, we've had reports of um, – uh, of uh, some uh, problems up in that uh, Walnut Grove and Ash Grove areas uh, with a uh, possible tornado up in the uh, uh, Walnut Grove area earlier. And we've had reports of heavy rain and lightning uh, that started in Ash Grove. Tell me exactly where you are right now and what you are experiencing. Okay, I'm on uh, 160. Um, I'm probably about three miles outside of Ash Grove getting into that approach around the Ash Grove Health Care Center. Uh, that's really close before you get into the actual city limits. The thing that I'm really seeing quite a bit is with the lightning. It's been lightning several times, and with that, it's kind of making the visibility to the cloud over the area a lot easier to determine. You can see the separation of the darker clouds to, to the light, and it really is kind of gives you a little bit of a, uh, a reference point to look at. Uh, you can see where the clouds are starting to, uh, to move just a bit, tracking north and east, and you can really see that with the amount of lightning. So. Western Green, Eastern Dade County is till 815, Hickory, Dallas, Southeastern Cedar, Polk County is until 845, and uh, tornado, or excuse me, a severe thunderstorm warning for McDonald, Southeastern Newton, Barry, and Southern Lawrence counties until 845, and then numerous flash flood warnings. Uh, some of the latest ones are Newton, McDonald, Barry, Lawrence, Southeastern Jasper, and Southern Dade counties. Flash flood warning until 2 a.m. Now we have another tornado warning that has been issued for part of the Springfield metro area. Stand by. All right, this is a tornado warning that has been issued now for North Central Christian County. Uh, as well as northeastern Stone and southeastern Green counties. This goes until 9 a o'clock tonight. 9 o'clock tonight, uh, this severe thunderstorm is capable of producing a tornado. It's located near Highlandville, and it's moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This does include the city of Springfield. So for the first time tonight, Springfield, you should be having your sirens going off now. This is a tornado warning that does include Springfield, as well as Rogersville, Highlandville, Nixa, Battlefield, 
uh, Fremont Hills. Uh, this is a tornado warning that goes until 9 o'clock tonight for North Central Christian County, as well as Southeastern Green and Northeastern Stone Counties. Tornado warning until 9 p.m. Take shelter in the city of Springfield right now. This is a, a dangerous storm. Flying debris will be dangerous to those who are caught without shelter, and mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed if they are hit by a tornado. This is radar-indicated rotation. We've not had a report of a touchdown with this one yet, but radar-indicated uh, rotation. However, we have had reports of possible touchdowns, uh, including one earlier in the uh, Walnut Grove area, and also a tornado on the ground southwest of Mountain Grove. Power flashes there over in Wright County, so very volatile weather situation throughout the Ozarks tonight. All right, let's check in with this uh, warning that's uh, for the city of Springfield now with Jason Rima, who's tracking the storms on KTTS Interactive Radar. Yeah, Don, a pair of uh, tornado warnings that we have at the moment affecting the uh, Springfield metro area, and so uh, this is what we're dealing with. We have a storm that is, as you mentioned, uh, basically west of Highlandville, and uh, that one is going to be moving off to the north and northeast. Uh, so for folks in Highlandville, Nixa, uh, Ozark, also if you're in the uh, Sparta area there. You need to be taking shelter. Fremont Hills and Galloway as well. It's uh, going to be headed uh, your direction, uh, possibly even the battlefield area uh, as well as it heads uh, off to the north and northeast. Uh, that's uh, been packing quite a punch there, but most of the heavy rain is uh, just northwest of Highlandville. The other tornado warning that we're dealing with for the metro, this one until 845, and it is uh, basically in the Ash Grove area. We've been talking earlier about a uh, tornado possibly headed straight for Ash Grove, and uh, lots of heavy rain there in the Ash Grove area and, and as far north as uh, Walnut Grove as well. All of this moving off to the east and northeast at the moment uh, uh, right now. We are dealing with a lot of heavy rain there. If you're in Morrisville, Pleasant Hope, or Willard, you need to be taking shelter too uh, because this could be headed in your direction uh, as well this evening. I'm Jason Rima, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. All right, let's send it back to Joe Rios. And, Joe, tell us the latest that you have from the field. Yeah, currently uh, we're actually in Ash Grove, and uh, we actually had to pull off to the side of the road. The amount of rainfall, the wind, has really caused the uh, driving to be a bit hazardous. So a lot of people are doing that. So with the uh, two-lane here, uh, take your time. I was able to pull to a side of a business, but... Uh, Heavy rainfall, very heavy. A lot of lightning is practically all around me, uh, unlike earlier. I mean, this is uh, we're pretty much right in the middle of the storm system. And uh, just keep in mind, if you are out here driving, that there are others out here. Allow enough space and distance between you and that other vehicle. Because once you come up over some of these hills on 160 Highway, you may uh, lose sight. Joe Rios, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. All right, Joe, let's check in again with Jason Rima, who's tracking the storms on KTTS Interactive Radio. Before we do that, we have another severe thunderstorm warning to uh, tell you about real quick here. KTTS Storm Chaser First Alert. National Weather Service issuing a severe thunderstorm warning. This is for Greene County, Northern Christian, and Southern Polk Counties until 9 p.m. Locations do include the city of Springfield. So Springfield right now is under a tornado warning and a severe thunderstorm warning. Ozark, Battlefield, Rogersville, Ashgrove, Billings, Nixa, Republic, Willard, and Stratford. Uh, this is, uh, again, a severe storm that is capable of producing some 60-mile-an-hour winds and quarter-size hail. It does include uh, Greene County, and including the city of Springfield, Southern Polk County, and Northern Christian County. That's in the red and the yellow zones on your KTTS Storm Alert map, and that warning goes until 9 o'clock. Plus, we have a tornado warning for uh, southeastern Greene County. That is uh, going to be off to the uh, Stratford area, Turner's, uh, Linden Galloway, because uh, North Central Christian County is included in this as well, as well as northeastern Stone County. So Springfield, Ozark, Rogersville, Highlandville, in the path of a possible tornado, make sure that you're taking shelter. Nixa, Battlefield as well, Stratford, please take shelter right now. Uh, then we have a uh, tornado warning uh, that is for southeastern Dade County until 815, south central Polk County, uh, tornado warning until 845, as well as northwestern Greene County. That one has been extended until 845, and southeastern Wright County has been extended until 845, and uh, tornado warning uh, for southwestern Polk County as well. Those are the latest tornado warnings. All right, now, Jason, we'll check in with you on KTTS Interactive Radar. Yeah, we need to make a correction because I think I, I believe I said that uh, there was a tornado that was headed toward Ash Grove, and that's not the case. It was headed toward uh, Mountain Grove. The Weather Service was talking about that. In fact, they're now saying that uh, police there, or authorities in the area, 
uh, had said that that uh, apparently had gone back up into the clouds or they'd lost sight of it. Uh, and again, that was over uh, in the uh, Mountain Grove area, not Ash Grove, although authorities were uh, watching that storm system there in the Ash Grove area this evening. All right, Jason, thanks for clarifying that. Uh, Springfield Green County Emergency Management Office is sounding the outdoor warning sirens for Ash Grove, for Walnut Grove, Battlefield, Stratford, North and South Springfield, and Bodart. Again, those are the uh, warning sirens being sounded for those areas right now because of the tornado warning that is in effect right now. Uh, we'll send it to the mobile units in just a second. But again, to recap, we have a tornado warning that does include the city of Springfield. Uh, so you need to be taking shelter right now. This is for North Central Christian County, Northeastern Stone in southeastern Greene counties, Nix, Battlefield, Stratford, Rogersville, several big communities in the path of this storm, and this warning goes until 9 o'clock tonight. A tornado warning remains in effect for southwestern Polk County, uh, and uh, we also have tornado warning for southeastern Wright County. That's the Mountain Grove one that Jason was talking about until 845, and we have a uh, tornado warning for southeastern Dade County that was set to expire at 815. We have a tornado warning for northwestern Green and south central Polk counties until 845. If you're in the Willard, Walnut Grove, Ash Grove, and Morrisville areas, you need to be taking shelter. Plus, we have a severe thunderstorm warning for Springfield, Ozark, Battlefield, Nixa, Republic, Willard, those areas, uh, northern Christian, southern Polk, and Green counties under a severe thunderstorm warning until 9 p.m. Nancy Simpson is back out there again uh, chasing these storms for us. Uh, Nancy, where are you and what are you experiencing? You can add Nixa to the cities with the storm sirens wailing, a line of cars uh, piling into Matthews Elementary where they do have a storm shelter there. A lot of people taking advantage of our storm shelters that we have throughout our city. Again, the storm sirens are wailing as we're under this tornado warning. I can tell you, can't hear anything. The rain is torrential, and there's a lot of localized flooding out here, so be careful if you're out. Uh, just take shelter. Take this seriously. We've had so many touchdowns throughout the evening. A lot of lightning lighting up the sky out here, but uh, flooding is going to be a big danger once this tornado warning passes. Again, in our community, a lot of storm shelters at the schools take advantage of those. A lot of ponding on the uh, on the roadways here. I'm Nancy Simpson, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. All right, Nancy, we just got word from the National Weather Service that that tornado warning for southeastern Wright County has been canceled. Uh, that was the one that did include the Mountain Grove area where we had report of a uh, tornado in that area, uh, but that warning has been canceled. We're also getting word that the tornado warning has been canceled for a part of Polk County. Uh, and, of course, as soon as I click on that, it doesn't load. Let's see here. The tornado warning for South Central Polk County has been canceled. However, we continue as a part of that same warning to have a uh, tornado warning that remains in effect until 845 for northwestern Greene County. Uh, that is a, a storm that's capable of producing extensive straight-line wind damage and a tornado as well. Let's check in again with Joe Rios to the north of Springfield. Joe. Yeah, the rainfall is really uh, coming down hard, and the wind is uh, really causing a lot of the uh, delay of road as far as people traveling along the road. It is so bad that um, it's just rocking the vehicle. And being on this two-lane road and you have two directions of travel here, both people going north and south, a lot of people are trying to pull to the side of the road. There's really no place to pull to the side of the road unless there's a private property or driveway to go up. If you're needing to travel, just take your time, throw your hazard lights on just to let people know that in front of you that you are there because the visibility is very reduced, the wind is very strong, and the rainfall is really causing a problem as far as you even see out here. That is your fault, their fault, get it on the asphalt, blind spot, truck stall, didn't see the sign, beat zone, tire phone, talking on the cell phone, smash the dust and orange phones, get from behind. But there's only one place that can make it right again. Hammers Auto Works, take it to the experts. Hammers Auto Works, they're gonna fix it right. Hammers Auto Works, take it to the experts. Hammers Auto Works, they're gonna fix it right. And now, a page from the Diary of Flo. Dear Diary, I got the brush off again. I don't get it. Is there something wrong with the way I wave? Elbow wrist, elbow wrist. Why won't that little basset hound acknowledge me? I'm friendly. I give everyone peace of mind when I protect their homes through Progressive. He should be jumping for joy when I walk by. Save an average of 17% on car insurance when you bundle home and auto through Progressive. Maybe it's me. 
No, it's him. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Discounts not available in all states or situations. Right now, you can get both Sprint's Unlimited plan and the iPhone XR with its amazing camera included for just $35 per month per line for five lines. All you need is approved credit and an 18-month lease. No trade-in required. Visit a Sprint store, Sprint.com, or call 800-SPRINT-1. Phone $15 a month after 16-25 month credit. Apply within two bills or canceled early. Your main balance to unlimited basic after 6-30-20. Pay $33 per month per line with auto pay. DPQ prioritization during congestion. Speed maximums. Use rules and restrictions apply. At 8.19 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a large and extremely dangerous tornado is located over Willard, or 11 miles northwest of Springfield moving east at 35 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Northern Springfield, Willard, Fair Grove, Glidewell, Cave Springs, Ebenezer. This includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 75 and 82. Heavy rainfall may have this spread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection move to an interior room on the So in the Bodark area as well, and this is making its way uh, off to the east. So if you're in Willard, you need to be uh, taking uh, cover right now because of this uh, tornado warning that's now in effect there in the Willard area. Also, other warnings that we're dealing with, a uh, tornado warning that's uh, been affecting uh, parts of uh, Nixa, Fremont Hills, the Ozark area. Uh, heavy rain there from around Nixa up toward Fremont Hills right now. We also have... For, for you folks around Galloway and Rogersville, you need to be taking shelter because that uh, storm is making its way northeast and headed in your direction. Uh, taking a look around the metro, or rather around the uh, uh, interactive, KTTS interactive radar, one other cell. We were watching uh, reports of a uh, tornado that had touched down in the uh, Mountain Grove area over in Wright County and then moved on. And uh, we had some reports from... Um, and the uh, law enforcement there on the, the ground that that had uh, possibly gone back up into the clouds, or at least they couldn't see it anymore. Uh, still some heavy rain there uh, just uh, south of Ben Davis and east of Dawson. I'm Jason Rima, KTTS Storm Chaser Coverage. Let's check in again with Nancy Simpson as uh, that uh, severe weather continues for the Springfield metro area. Nancy, where are you? What do you have? have been wailing here in Nixa. A lot of people heading out on the roadways toward schools in our area. We have several FEMA shelters where they can uh, hunker down because I can tell you the roadways have been no fun. Torrential rain out here and flooding it's already a big problem and that is going to get worse as we go through the night with more rain on the way and you know it's dark outside. It's hard to see. So turn around, don't drown. Really live by those words tonight. Very, very important as you make your way out. But uh Rain starting to let up. We have a lot of lightning out here, too. Be careful with the lightning show as you make your way around, Nixa. Let's uh, check in with Joe Rios, who's out about changing storm to Joe. Yeah, we're uh, currently uh, between Ash Grove and Willard. Uh, we got closer into Willard, and you could really see the amount of rainfall now that we kind of a little bit pulled to the side of the road here off of 160. Very windy, sheets of rain, and the wind is continuing to blow very hard, rocking the vehicles back and forth. A lot of cars still pulling to the side of the road. A lot of people still driving out here on these roads, and uh, they've actually pulled to the side of the road uh, because this uh, lightning and rain and strong winds is really causing a lot of problems for anybody that's living in this area. Uh, also, you can hear the sirens here in the background here in Willard. Joe Rios, KTPS, Storm Chaser coverage. All right, Joe, and we're getting reports of uh, Willard out of power at Highway 160 in Jackson. Again, a power outage in the town of Willard as the storm has moved through. We also have reports of power out in Ash Grove with high winds and peace ice hail. Intense rain and lightning in uh, the North Nixa area. The wind, uh, is uh, that's going to be at uh, CC and Old Castle Road. Just some of the reports we're getting in from the National Weather Service. But again, power outages, we're starting to get those now. One in the Willard area, 160 in Jackson, and one in the Ash Grove area. 
uh, with also some high winds continuing to occur there. Folks, this is a very dangerous situation. We have had nearly nonstop tornado warnings since this afternoon, and these continue to uh, cause uh, problems as we go through the night tonight. Uh, these just are not relenting. These storms are, we've had so many reports of uh, confirmed from law enforcement, from firefighters, from emergency managers of tornado touchdowns around the area. You can see photos up now from the storms that moved through this afternoon. Those are up at KTTS.com and uh, the KTTS News Facebook page. And if you have photos, feel free to share those with us on the KTTS News Facebook page of the storms that have uh, moved through the area tonight. We want to see your pictures from those. Uh, we have a tornado warning. We may have another one coming in, and I'll wait to get that one from Jason here as soon as it comes off the printer. But we have a tornado warning for northeastern Greene County until 845. This does include northern Springfield, the Fair Grove area, uh, uh, Willard as well, and uh, Ebenezer. We have a tornado warning in effect until 845 for northwest of Greene County. This includes Willard. That should probably be Willard on that one instead of northeast Greene County. Uh, and uh, that is, again, for the Willard area until 845. That is a tornado warning. All these are tornado warnings. Take shelter now. The city of uh, Springfield, southeast Springfield, you need to be taking shelter. Ozark, Stratford, Nixon, Rogersville. This is a tornado warning until 9 o'clock for North Central Christian as well as southeastern Greene counties. We also have uh, word that uh, the tornado warning for northeastern Stone County has been canceled. Now here is uh, the very latest tornado warning uh, that we have that's been issued by the National Weather Service. TTS Storm Chaser First Alert. National Weather Service issuing a tornado warning for southwestern Dallas County and southeastern Polk counties until 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, these are storms that may produce both tornadoes and extensive straight-line wind damage are located near Pleasant Hope. They're moving east at 30 miles per hour. A tornado and quarter-sized hail are both possible. Flying debris will be dangerous if you're caught without shelter. So make sure that you are taking shelter in the Pleasant Hope, the March, Foose, Olive, and Charity areas. Again, this is southeastern Polk County, southwestern Dallas County, just to the north of Springfield. A tornado warning until 9 o'clock tonight. This goes along with a tornado warning for northeastern Greene County until 845. Uh, for northwestern Green County until 845, for north central Christian and southeastern Green counties until 9 o'clock. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning uh, that's in effect until 9 for northern Christian, southern Polk, and Green counties, and a severe thunderstorm warning for Hickory, Dallas, southeastern Cedar, and Polk counties until 845, and also until 845, a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Newton, McDonald, Barry, and southern Lawrence counties. Um, we have uh, circulation along that line from near Pleasant Hope to North Springfield that's tightened up a little bit, according to the National Weather Service. So very dangerous storm. You need to be taking shelter until you get the all clear, and we'll let you know when that all clear occurs. Uh, Jason Ryba continues to track these storms on KTTS Interactive Radar. All right, Don, we'll take a look at the newest uh, warning area, the tornado warning, and this is uh, getting ready to cross over to the Pleasant Hope area. Folks there, you need to be taking shelter with that uh, storm uh, warning that's out uh, in uh, affecting you. Also in Charity and Elkland, uh, you're also in the path of that storm. Uh, also some heavy rain. Boy, this is uh, just not really moving. It's um, just kind of centered uh, over portions of uh, uh, Polk and Greene counties uh, north of Willard. Uh, Willard, of course, still getting some very heavy rain. That's an area of concern, uh, possibly uh, that something could be uh, wrapped up, uh, possibly a twister mixed in with the rain there. Nothing confirmed, no reports of any uh, sightings right now, but uh, it's very heavy rain that's uh, in the Willard area uh, and in between Willard and Brighton. There's still a lot of heavy rain there to deal with at the moment. And then we have some uh, heavy stuff too uh, for you folks uh, east, uh, southeast of Willard as well. So uh, those are uh, some places to watch out for. We also have some very uh, heavy stuff right now from around Nixa to Fremont. Service in Springfield has issued a tornado warning for Southern Webster County until 9.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time.
At 8.28 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Ozark, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and half-dollar size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Marshfield, Rogersville, Fordland, Diglins, Northview. This includes Interstate 44 between mile markers 90 and 99. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 9.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following county, Webster, Missouri. Northeastern Greene County, Northern Springfield, Fair Grove area, Ebenezer. You're in the path of that storm and need to be taking shelter. We also have a tornado warning until 845 for Northwestern Greene County, Willard, Cave Springs areas. And until 9 o'clock, a tornado warning remains in effect for North Central Christian and Southeastern Greene counties. This does include the Ozark, Nixa, Rogersville area, Stratford, as well as Southeastern Springfield. And then we have a severe thunderstorm warning for Greene, Southern Polk, and Northern Christian counties until 9. Springfield, Ozark, Battlefield, Rogersville, Billings, uh, some of the areas that are being impacted there. And a severe thunderstorm warning for Hickory, Dallas, uh, Southeastern Cedar, and Polk counties, as well as Northeastern Dade counties until 845 tonight. Also until 845, severe thunderstorm warning for Southeastern Newton, McDonald, Berry, and Southern Lawrence counties. Let's check in again with our mobile units. Uh, we have both Joe Rios and Nancy Simpson that are tracking these storms moving through the Springfield metro area. Nancy, we'll start with you. Northern part of Nixa where pockets of rain just will tell you, and I can tell you pockets of rain on the roadways can be super dangerous. It sounds like the tornado sirens in Nixa proper have settled down and a lot of people had uh, been filing into local schools here where we have FEMA shelters taking refuge for just a little bit, but uh, flooding is going to be a huge problem out here. Uh, it's so dark and you just can't see where all those pockets of uh, rain are on the roadways, and some of them are getting very, very deep. All the ditches are full here in northern Nixon. Now that system that was affecting uh, this area is what is also moving in toward the southern portion of Webster County there south of Marshfield, and I can tell you coming with this, Again, it's going to be torrential wind and a lot of rain, blinding rain as you're trying to drive out here on the roadways. Lightning, that's no joke either. A lot of cloud-to-ground lightning striking all over this evening. Joe, I think you're north of me. Where are you at? Yeah, currently we're here in the Willard itself, and the uh, amount of rainfall has not stopped. Uh, the heavy wind has not stopped. The lightning, quite a bit of that. And that is really what kind of helps you out when you're driving on the roadway, actually, because... With the amount of rainfall and visibility reduced quite a bit, and one just cracked right over me, right there. So if you are anywhere in this part of Willard, driving through town, you're going to have some flashing red lights to deal with. Got some power outages being reported. The flashing red lights are right there near the intermediate school, near the intersection. I'm seeing some businesses that uh, lights are starting to flicker. We're actually in the parking lot of one of the businesses here. And we've noticed a lot of vehicles to the side of the road that's kind of parked and waiting for the storm to pass by. But just be aware of this very dangerous situation, this tornado warning, just a lot of heavy rainfall. And uh, just keep in mind, uh, with others in front of you, just allow enough space and distance because somebody may be hitting those brakes really quick. Joe Rios, KTTS, Storm Chaser Coverage. KTTS, Storm Chaser First Alert. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Dallas and west central Laclede counties until 9 p.m. These are storms that are capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight line wind damage near Buffalo, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Bennett Springs State Park is uh, in, under the path in the path of this storm, as well as the town of Buffalo and uh, Pump Consider and Plaid, Windyville as well. Tornado warning for northeastern Dallas and west central Laclede counties until 9 p.m. 
The tornado warning for north central Christian County, that's been canceled by the Weather Service because it's moved out of that area. The tornado warning does remain in effect, though, until 9 o'clock for southeastern Greene County. Uh, this is the Rogersville area. That's a storm that's capable of producing a tornado located on the north side of Ozark, crossing into Greene County, moving northeast pretty rapidly at 50 miles per hour. You can expect some quarter-sized hail along with the possibility of a tornado with that as well. And again, uh, the most recent tornado warning uh, for northeastern Dallas and west central Laclede counties until 9 p.m. And a tornado warning remains in effect until 845, another uh, eight or nine minutes from now. And that is going to be for northeastern Greene County, north side of Springfield, Fair Grove, Willard, Ebenezer areas, Glidewell, you're in the path of this storm. So any of those areas, you need to be taking shelter immediately. We had reports a few minutes ago of some uh, winds of 45 miles per hour at Highway 13 and 32 in Bolivar. Uh, we've had heavy rains, uh, winds, near horizontal rain uh, coming down at uh, Beverly Hill and Farm Road 151. That's just north of the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. The tornado warning for northwestern Greene County is being allowed to expire at 845. Again, the tornado warning is expiring here in a few minutes for northwestern Greene County. Uh, Logan Rogersville is reporting some nickel size hail at Highway 186 and 205, uh, heading up Highway uh, 65. Power outage being reported at 65 in CC and Ozark. We've had reports of power out at 160 in Jackson in the Willard area, reports of power out in the Ash Grove area as well. So that's just another one of the issues with these storms tonight, the power outages. Jason Rima tracking these storms right now on KTTS Interactive Radar. And Jason, go ahead. Yeah, and one more thing. I think uh, you mentioned, or maybe you mentioned this earlier, Douglas County had about 1,200 people without power at one point this evening, probably still uh, the same way after storms rolled through there. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the tornado warnings that we have right now uh, affecting uh, one of these, affecting areas just north of Rogersville, from around the Rogersville uh, area back toward Galloway and Fremont Hills, up toward Northview, Marshfield, Fordland, and Diggins. That's uh, the warned area right now. Heavy rain north of Rogersville and just south of Stratford at the moment. We also have a tornado warning that's uh, in effect. Uh, well, let's see here. This is uh, I'm clicking on the wrong area. This one is uh, affecting Pleasant Hope. Very heavy rainfall there in the Pleasant Hope area, and it's headed uh, over toward Charity and Elkland. So if you, for you folks there, uh, need to stay uh, in your shelter there for a little bit longer. And then still some uh, reports of uh, looks like we've got a tornado warning up here for northeastern Dallas and west central Laclede counties until uh, 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, that uh, system is making its way out of Lewisburg, but uh, folks in the Buffalo area are going to be affected by that as well. And that will be headed east, uh, northeast toward the Windyville and Eldridge areas. Well, we've got heavy rain uh, north of Springfield right now, but all of this uh, is uh, not producing any tornadoes. Uh, no tornadoes produced uh, right now in the metro area. Uh, heavy rain from around Springfield up toward Fairgrove, back over toward Willard, uh, also over toward uh, Republic, Clever, and uh, Rogersville, and, uh, and then also some heavy rain uh, just southeast of Aurora, between Aurora and Crane. Uh, I know I'm missing something here, um, uh, Don, as far as uh, that goes, but uh, help me out. I'm a little tired here. Are there any other uh, warning areas that we should be talking about? I think that's it at yeah, the moment. I think moment. you covered both of them. Let's, we'll just go ahead and go through the list that we have right now. And by the way, the Weather Service says they're going to let the two tornado warnings for northern Greene County expire. Did you see that game last night? Ooh, instant classic. I can't believe how much Burton was sweating in the ninth. You could see each bead dripping off his brow. I didn't see him sweating. My girlfriend was blown away by his clear skin. She kept going on and on about what his daily regime is. It was pretty impressive. I'm sure he noticed that. Yeah, I didn't notice his smooth skin. Either you don't have a girlfriend or you don't have direct TV. I don't have either, actually. Wow. Really? Live sports that aren't in 4K are just kind of TV. Only Direct TV has the most live sports in 4K. Don't just kind of TV, Direct TV. Switch from Dish and get a $100 reward card. Limited 4K programming available. Requires entertainment package or higher and compatible equipment. Reward card with 24 month agreement. Maintain service and redeem within 75 days. Card within four weeks and 630 2019. Select markets only. Requires two room setup. Minimum $47 per month for 12 months after discount. Prices higher in second year. New residential customers only. Equipment lease, activation, installation, early termination, equipment non return, and other charges and restrictions apply. 
Ronnie Millsap, live in the pavilion at Downstream Casino Resort, Friday, May 10th. Smoky Mountain Rain. A night loaded with all your favorites from Ronnie Millsap. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Ronnie Millsap, live. It was almost like some. Friday, May 10th in the Pavilion at Downstream Casino Resort. What a difference you made in my life. Get your tickets today at the Hecaton Gift Shop or DownstreamCasino.com. Pure love. Baby, it's pure love. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8 p.m. Spring is coming, and it's time to shake off the winter frost with some hot racing action. It's the 8th Annual Impact Signs, Awnings, and Wraps Open Wheel Showdown at Lucas Oil Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri. This is traditional dirt track racing at its finest, including winged and non-winged sprint cars in a roaring side-sliding battle for supremacy. It all happens May 4th, and it's only at Lucas Oil Speedway. For tickets and info, visit lucasoilspeedway.com. Lucas Oil Speedway, where motorsports come to life. Right now, you can get both Sprint's unlimited plan and the all-new Samsung Galaxy S10e included for just $35 per month per line for five lines. All you need is approved credit and an 18-month lease. No trade-in required. Visit a Sprint store, Sprint.com, or call 800-SPRINT-1. Phone $15 a month after 1625 a month. Credit applied within two bills are canceled early. Remain a balance to unlimited basic after 630 Pay $32 per month per line without a pay. DDT prioritization during congestion. Speed maximums. Use rules and restrictions apply. Flo here with a word that's just weird, terry cloth. Who exactly is Terry, and why does he get his own fabric? Did he journey below SPF 50, fight off some weeds and his daffodils? Hmm. How about a word for everyone? Flotection. Yeah, I just made it up, but I'm not making up how great it feels when me and Progressive protect your new home. Ever think of that, Terry? No, Terry only thinks of himself. Save an average of 17% on car insurance when you bundle home and auto through Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all states or situations. Find your favorite designers at our biggest savings during Macy's Friends and Family. Get extra 10 to 30% savings store-wide with your Macy's card or pass. Plus 15% off beauty purchases with your pass. Spring's best styles, perfect gifts for Mother's Day, and more. Extra 10 to 30% savings for friends and family now through Sunday, May 5th. Savings off regular and sale prices exclusions apply. Macy's Star Rewards now offers benefits everyone can enjoy no matter how they pay. Visit Macy's.com slash Star Rewards. Wave. I can just uh, see that wall of water headed toward us again. A lot of lightning out here, a lot of uh, heavy rain, and of course we're um, thinking about Rogersville right now, part of that system that blew through here in the Nixta area and now is affecting uh, Rogersville. So, um, yeah, the storm sirens have uh, let up here in Nixa because the tornado warning is over, but we still have these severe thunderstorm warnings. And with this rain extending all the way down to the Oklahoma, it's going to be a long night of flooding, which is no joke here in the Ozarks either. Let's check in with Joe Rios, north of Beach. Yes, uh, we're currently here in Willard, and we are going to start tracking into Springfield. And like Nancy said earlier, with the, the sirens here, they've stopped doing that. But still a lot of rainfall very windy, a lot of lightning, and there are a lot of low-lying areas that are get, starting to get flooded. So if you're anywhere or some of these side roads outside of the uh, outside of Willard, just be aware of that. Don't try to drive over it. Very dangerous situation here. And another thing to keep in mind is if you are uh, driving along Highway 160, either direction you're going, allow enough space between you and that vehicle in front of you. The amount of rainfall has still caused a lot of uh, visibility issues. Uh, the wind has let up just a bit, but still a lot of rainfall. And the main concern now is for some uh, flooded areas that are going to cause some problems. Joe Rios, KTTS, Storm Chaser coverage. All right, Joe, stand by. We have another uh, warning to tell you about. KTTS, Storm Chaser first alert. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Central Christian County as well as northwestern Taney, Stone, and eastern Barry counties until 9.30 tonight. 
Uh, that is going to include the Nixa and Ozark areas. We still have a tornado warning that's in effect until 9 p.m. for southeastern Greene County, a confirmed tornado near Rogersville. It's moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Flying debris will be dangerous if you're caught without shelter. Make sure that you take shelter immediately. A spotter in Ozark is reporting multiple trees down in a subdivision uh, three miles east of Highway CC on Highway Double N and 9th Avenue in that subdivision. Emergency responders are on the scene. Trees uh, about one foot to one and a half in diameter uh, that uh, is uh, one of the reports that we had but again spotter knows are reporting multiple trees down uh, we also have uh, reports of a uh, possible tornado that uh, is on the ground in the rogersville area as of a little while ago so please continue to take shelter if you are in the town of rogersville a tornado warning remains in effect until nine o'clock another 14 minutes from now for northeastern dallas and west central laclede counties that's going to include the bennett springs state park area and windyville tornado is possible there as well as some quarter size hail and now you can add southeastern wright county to the list of the many communities that are under a flash flood, flood warning that goes until 2 45 a.m on wednesday all right jason we're going to check in with again with you to get the very latest on KTTS interactive radar. All right, with that tornado warning that's still in effect uh, for uh, folks there in the Rogersville area, we just heard Don talking about that tornado touchdown confirmed. And so for you folks in Fordland and Diggins, you need to definitely be uh, in your shelters because uh, if that is still on the ground, it could be headed in your direction. Uh, also want to let you know, too, as we uh, kind of take a zoom out here, at what we have left and what's remaining with the uh, heavy rain uh, we have another tornado warning uh, to the north of Springfield. Folks uh, in, um, let's see, in the Windyville area, you need to be taking shelter. Uh, parts of northeastern Dallas and west central Laclede County still under that uh, warning for just a few more minutes until 9 o'clock. Uh, still some pretty heavy rainfall there approaching uh, the Windyville area. But we have heavy rain right now from around Tunis and Urbana back south toward Buffalo. Uh, Elkland and Charity, Fair Grove, Stratford. Uh, we've got some, uh, of course, a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings that are still in effect. A lot of heavy rain here in Springfield around Brookline and Battlefield, even back toward Republic, and then over toward Clever, Hurley, and Crane. Uh, otherwise, though, when you get uh, past that, what's south of there uh, is uh, still pretty light stuff, and what's behind this is still pretty light at the moment. So we're just kind of watching these uh, storms as they continue to move very slowly off to the east. I'm Jason Rima, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. All right, and we're getting reports that Logan Rogersville Fire Department is responding to a possible home that's been destroyed uh, around the area of Harmony Avenue south of Highway 60. And that's near 205 and 60. Again, that's a law enforcement report that's uh, being relayed through Ro Logan Rogersville Fire Department of a home that may have been destroyed uh, just a little while ago. Uh, so we hope that everyone's okay there. Uh, uh, trees, uh, multiple trees down in the Ozark area. And again, we did have a report of a possible tornado on the ground in the Rogersville area. So still a very volatile, very dangerous situation. That's why we're continuing to go wall to wall with our coverage on all of our stations until the metro area warnings are lifted. Uh, we have had uh, numerous tornado warnings tonight. We do want to tell you that one of those warnings that was supposed to go until 9 o'clock has just been canceled by the National Weather Service. That is the tornado warning for southwestern Dallas in southeastern Polk counties. Again, that one has been canceled. So here are the warnings that are in effect at this time, although I think Jason's going to have me another one. Uh, this is a new severe thunderstorm warning. Stand by. KTTS Storm Chaser First Alert. National Weather Service issuing a severe thunderstorm warning for northern Webster, eastern Dallas, northwestern Wright, Laclede counties. That does include part of Camden County as well. It goes until 9.30 tonight. Lebanon is in the path of this storm as well as Niangua. Uh, also around the Bennett Springs area, Windyville, Haha -Ha Tonka State Park is included in this. Conway, Elkland, Sleeper, and Long Lane, if you're on I-44, and uh, maybe not familiar with some of the towns in this area, but you do see those mile markers. This is between the 103 and the 137 mile marker. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. It's for northern Webster, eastern Dallas, northwestern Wright County, and Laclede County. That goes until 930 tonight. Uh, the tornado warnings that are still in effect. Uh, first of all, let's see here. Let's uh, so let's separate the tornado and the severe thunderstorm warnings because we have several of each. Tornado warning remains in effect until 9 p.m. for southeastern Greene County. The northern Greene County warnings have been canceled already, but we still have one for southeastern Greene County until 9 p.m. 
We also have a tornado warning for southern Webster County until 915. You still need to be taking shelter if you're in the Marshfield, Fordland, Northview, Rogersville, and Diggins areas. Also until 9 o'clock, a tornado warning remains in effect for northeastern Dallas and west central Laclede counties. Uh, we also have a tornado warning until, uh, let's see, we just told you about that one. Okay, the rest of these are going to be severe thunderstorm warnings. We have one for central Christian County. This does include Nixa and Ozark. It's in effect until 930 tonight. Northwestern Taney County, Stone County, and eastern Barry County also included with that severe thunderstorm warning until 930. Northern Webster, eastern Dallas, northwestern Ride and Laclede counties until 930. Uh, you're under a severe thunderstorm warning. That's the one we just had on. A severe thunderstorm warning as well for northern Christian, southern Polk, and green counties. This does include the city of Springfield uh, and Republic. Uh, this goes until 9 o'clock and a severe thunderstorm warning uh, that just expired for Hickory, Dallas, southeastern Cedar, and Polk and northeastern Dade counties. We also had one just expire for north, uh, for uh, southeastern Newton, as well as parts of McDonald, Barry, and southern Lawrence counties. And it uh, looks like uh, we have reports of some 45-mile-per-hour uh, winds. Uh, we had that one earlier around the Bolivar area. It uh, looks like a severe thunderstorm warning cancellation is coming in now for Polk County, southern Polk County. That uh, severe thunderstorm warning is canceled. However, it is still in effect until 9 o'clock for northern Christian and for eastern Greene counties. These storms located along a line extending from near Conway to near Diggins moving east at 55 miles per hour. This does include the city of Springfield, so still under the gun until 9 o'clock with this uh, severe thunderstorm that is capable of producing some 60-mile-per-hour winds as well as some quarter-sized hail. All right, let's check in once again with uh, Nancy Simpson and with Joe Rios. Nancy, we'll start with you again. The western edge of Nixa taking the brunt of that heavy, heavy rain. It's just pounding this area. That little snippet, oh, can you hear that lightning? That little snippet of uh, thunderstorm that we had earlier with the tornado warning, that's what moved into Rogersville and possibly has dropped a tornado there. We're all that close tonight, folks. Every warning needs to be taken seriously. The sirens have quelled here in Nixa with that tornado warning moving off to the north and east of us. But again, a wall of water just pounding this area. And more dangers tonight, even after the tornado warnings quell, because flooding is a huge issue. All the ditches here in Nixa are full. Roadways are overflowing. And some of this water, you simply can't tell how deep it is. And that's in the city. If you live in an area where you know you have problems, you're going to have problems tonight. So turn around, don't drown. That message could not be more important than it is tonight because flooding is such a big killer in our area. Lightning, you've heard it. We've had plenty of it out here. And the pounding, pounding rain makes it so hard to drive. Be careful. Jill Rios is north of us, North Springfield. Yeah, Nancy, we are currently uh, heading back into Springfield. We're uh, on 160 uh, between Willard and Springfield. Still a lot of rainfall. Uh, on the roadways and a lot of uh, low-lying areas with some flooded spots to keep in mind the wind. And uh, another thing to kind of keep an eye out, just noticed uh, on our drive back, there's some debris in the roadway. I mean debris like this, uh, as far as like trees or limbs uh, off and on on some of the roads here. Uh, a lot to the side of the roads, but every now and then we're coming across some that are in the middle of the roadway. So you may want to reduce your speed just a bit because you may have a road hazard in front of you, uh, especially with the amount of rainfall, uh, reducing that visibility already, and the wind. So it's just making things a little bit harder. So just take your time if you're out here on the roadways uh, dealing with the uh, uh, showers and storms as we continue to move through uh, the area. Joe Rios, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. KTTS Storm Chaser first alert. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning. This is for southeastern Christian County and northwestern Taney County. It's going until 9.15 tonight. Uh, Weather Service says that these uh, storms are capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight-line winds. They're located near Highlandville. They're moving east at 50 miles per hour. Uh, this is a tornado warning, and it is for southeastern Christian County, northwestern Taney County, Highlandville area, Spokane, Oldfield, Chadwick, Garrison, Chestnut Ridge in the path of this particular storm. Also, a, a tornado warning has just been issued for western Douglas County until 915. 
This is a storm that's located around Good Hope, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Folks in Ava who have had at least a couple of tornado warnings tonight, I think you're in the path of this storm as well. Make sure that you're taking shelter again in the Ava, Rome, Good Hope, and Squires area as this is a very dangerous storm. Jason Rime is tracking all of these storms on KTTS Interactive Radar. Now, it seems like just about everybody's had at least a couple of uh, tornado warnings this afternoon and this evening. Uh, the latest ones that we're looking at right now, heavy rain uh, just uh, south of Highlandville, that line from around Highlandville uh, to uh, just about the Saddlebrook area. That's going to be moving off to the east. If you're in Chadwick, Garrison, uh, you need to be taking shelter, even possibly Bradleyville. And then the other one that we're watching is a tornado warning that's uh, affecting uh, Rome, Ava, and Squires, uh, an area that just got hit hard earlier this evening. We had some reports of possibly some tornado debris uh, in the air that was spotted on uh, Doppler radar. That heavy rain right now is north and west of Rome and moving to the east and northeast for us uh, for them at the moment. The other tornadic cell that we're watching, uh, or at least the tornado warning that we're wa still watching, affecting the Rogersville area, still heavy rain just along and north of uh, Rogersville and up toward the Northview area. Uh, all of this uh, part of a big long squall line from north to south uh, that stretches from around Max Creek down toward Windyville, Elkland, uh, the Marshfield and Stratford area, back toward Rogersville, Springfield, Nixa and Ozark, uh, and down toward Highlandville and Galena. Uh, that's the big squall line that we're still dealing with, or at least the heaviest of the squall line as this does go back into northeast Oklahoma. But uh, that's the heaviest of it. It is making its way off to the east at the moment. I'm Jason Rima, KTTS Storm Chaser coverage. All right, Jason, uh, here is what we have uh, going on right now. We have uh, lots of tornado warnings that are still in effect, although we are getting some new ones that have been canceled, and we'll get that list on for you as well. But the most recent warnings that are in effect, tornado warning for southeastern Christian County and for northwestern Taney County until 9.15 tonight. Uh, this is in the Highlandville, Christian Center, Garrison, Chestnut Ridge, Spokane, Oldfield areas. Again, you need to be taking shelter if you're in those areas in southeastern Christian and northwestern Taney counties. We also have a tornado warning that's in effect until uh, 9 o'clock out of the three minutes from now. That's for northeastern Dallas as well as west. <clears throat> excuse me, West Central Laclede counties. That is a tornado warning that is uh, set to expire at 9 o'clock. We also have a tornado warning in effect until 9 o'clock for southeastern Greene County, and uh, we also have one for uh, southern Webster County that has now been canceled. Jason, I'm going to let you talk for a minute if you don't mind because I lost my voice. Yeah, well, that's uh, it's been a problem of mine as well this afternoon uh, with the allergies. We want to tell you, too, uh, that we are getting some reports of a possible tornado debris signature around Highway 65 north of Saddlebrook. That's in an area that uh, has just had a tornado uh, warning that was issued for it. We'll take a look at that on the radar screen here, um, uh, kind of uh, north of Highway 65 and in the Saddlebrook area, and seeing some very heavy rainfall there and uh, possibly – uh, something that uh, could resemble uh, a bow echo there uh, just west, uh, northwest of Saddlebrook. So that's the area that the National Weather Service is uh, watching right now on their radar. We'll be watching that as well. I uh, also want to tell you that uh, I believe, Don, that uh, at least one of those areas, uh, you may have just mentioned this, uh, but it uh, looks like Webster County, uh, that tornado warning has been expi has been canceled. Uh, maybe still have the one there for southeastern Greene County for at least a couple of minutes maybe. But uh, the rest of that one has been uh, canceled. So we still have uh, two other warnings, uh, one south of us affecting Highlandville, Saddlebrook, Chadwick, and Garrison. The other one is affecting Rome, Ava, and Squires. Heavy rain in those areas, and the Weather Service did uh, notice a uh, debris signature there on 65 just north of Saddlebrook. Yeah, that's right, Jason. In southern Webster County, that warning has indeed been canceled. The uh, s tornado warning uh, for southeastern Greene County we expect will be canceled. However, we still have a couple minutes to go in that one. Uh, the Weather Service has allowed the tornado warning for northeastern Dallas and west central Laclede counties up around the uh, Bennett Springs State Park area. They've allowed that to expire here at 9 o'clock. Did have reports of some peace ice hail and clever a few minutes ago, and a train spotter reported 51 mile per hour wind gusts and heavy rain on Riverdale Road in the Highlandville area, which is part of a tornado warning that is in effect right now. So, assuming this one in uh, southeast Green County gets canceled, the warnings that we still have in effect right now include a tornado warning 
uh, for Northeastern Dallas and Western Cleveland. We told you that's been canceled. So we have uh, until 9.15 tonight, a tornado warning for Southeastern Christian and Northwestern Taney County. That's Highlandville, Christian Center, Spokane, Oldfield, Chadwick, Keltner, Garrison, and Chestnut Ridge areas. And that would be uh, the remaining uh, tornado warning that we have. We have a severe thunderstorm warning until 9.30 for northern Dallas, eastern uh, northern Webster, eastern Dallas, northwestern Ride and Laclede counties. And uh, we have numerous flash flood warnings that are in effect for southwest Missouri because of high water. Turn around, don't drown. And uh, we'll check in with the mobile units again in just a moment as we hit the 9 o'clock hour. You're listening to continuous severe weather coverage on 94.7 today's KTTS Springfield, 106.7 The River, KRVI Mount Vernon, Power 96.5 KSBW Sparta Springfield, and News Talk KSGF Ashgrove Springfield. All right, and we're not done yet with uh, the tornado warnings. We continue to have uh, the tornado warning tone sound on KTTS. Uh, they, those sound any time there is a tornado warning in effect for the KTTS listening area, and I can tell you that those have been going on pretty much nonstop since this afternoon. One of the most number of tornado warnings that we've ever seen in one day around here. And uh, we have had several reports of uh, tornadoes that touched down earlier as well. Uh, one of the most recent ones uh, was in the Rogersville area where a tornado was reported on the ground there. Uh, but we've had numerous ones. Miller, Wheaton, Stella, Thornfield, uh, Walnut Grove area, Taneyville. The Weather Service is going to be very busy with their damage assessment teams out tomorrow. We've had zero reports of any injuries or fatalities from these storms. We have some pretty amazing photos, though, at KTTS.com from the storms, including one that moved through the Wheaton area earlier today uh, that was a, a, a believed to be a tornado. So a tornado warning remains in effect until 915 for southeastern Christian County and north central Taney County, Chestnut Ridge, Oldfield, Garrison, Chadwick, and Keltner in the path of this storm. Jason, are you seeing any more tornado warnings other than that one at this time? Uh, I have two. Did okay. you mention two different ones? I believe I got. Uh, uh, I have Southeastern Christian and North Central Taney County. That's in effect until uh, nine fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Until nine fifteen for that one. Then we had one until nine fifteen for Western Douglas County. Western Douglas County. Okay. Uh, very good. Right. Uh, I think that was one that was issued. Uh, you did issue that one earlier as well. So those okay. are the two that we have right now. Just wanted to make sure that I was on track there. We have an expiration coming here for Greene County. That's the one we've been waiting on. This is a uh, tornado warning for southeastern Greene County that's been canceled. or uh, It's actually been allowed to expire here at 9 o'clock. And uh, we do still have that tornado warning, as Jason mentioned, until 915 for western Douglas County. That's a storm that is capable of producing a tornado that's located southwest of Ava, moving northeast at 35 miles an hour. So Ava, Rome, Good Hope, you are in the path of this storm and need to be taking shelter immediately. All right, uh, another check uh, with the mobile units. Thanks for all of your help out there. Uh, tonight tracking these storms across the Ozarks. Uh, we'll check in again with Nancy Simpson and then Joe Rios. Yeah, I'm in western Nixo where the rain's starting to ease up a little bit, but pounding, pounding rain, lots of howling wind. That's what we've been dealing with. And I can tell you guys in Sparta, just getting hit now. Oh, it's coming. Merriam Woods extending down there and over towards Seymour. Ava, again, going to get another round of this pounding, pounding rain. Um, tornadoes, yes, we have had a lot of touchdowns, right, and a lot of uh, damage. Luckily, no reports of any injuries, but flooding is also a number one killer in the Ozarks, and we need to pay attention because all the ditches, roadways in and around Nixa, I've driven around, they are full. A lot of full water over the roadways already, and that's in the city. So these low-lying areas out in the country, if your area usually floods, it is going to be flooded tonight. Turn around, don't drown that message. Ever so important this evening. It is dark and it is dangerous out there if you're going to be uh, driving home in some low lying areas. We've got a lot of lightning pushed through with this system and uh, yeah, it's starting to move on. We got a lot of rain uh, still on the way, extending down to Oklahoma. So uh, it's going to be a long night of just a lot of rain tomorrow morning. Could be dangerous too as you're heading into work. Joe Rios is north of here. Joe, what are you seeing? Yeah, we're currently in uh, the area around Northwest Springfield Bypass and I-44. As we were making our way into Springfield, like I said, mentioned earlier, uh, a lot of debris in the roadway from the winds that came through the Willard area. If you are traveling along those highways there, not only out of Willard, but some of these uh, other roads that have a lot of trees around the, the road, just keep in mind you may have some of that to deal with on the roadway, but uh, take your time if you're out there. I've seen a lot of uh, flooded 
uh, areas on some of these main highways as well. So if you are uh, used to any flooding on the outer roads, expect that and do not drive through that particular uh, that is a road hazard for sure. You turn around, don't drown. That's definitely something to keep in mind because uh, especially at night, your judgment of the uh, depth of that water may be higher than you really think and it can cause a problem. We don't want that to happen. Another thing to uh, keep an eye out on is some of the vehicles, uh, some of them actually have pulled to the side of the road. Not so much it was like earlier, but there's still some out here that just choosing not to drive in this rainfall and the winds because it's just too much for them as far as the visibility, and it was a bit windy earlier. So just keep that in mind with others, uh, folks out here driving, that uh, uh, just allow enough distance between you and that vehicle in front of you and just take your time uh, wherever you may be heading this evening. Joe Rios, KTPS, Wind Chaser Coverage. Thank you, Joe. And the uh, National Weather Service has allowed the severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Christian and Greene County to expire. Northern Christian and eastern Greene counties, uh, again, that severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire. We also have a uh, cancellation of the severe thunderstorm warning for northern Webster and eastern Dallas counties. However, we still have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 930 for northwestern Wright, Laclede County, and also parts of Camden County. This does include the Lebanon area as well as Bennett Springs State Park. So uh, we're starting to have these, uh, these tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings starting to move out of the Springfield metro area. So we're going to get back to uh, our normal programming on uh, KSGF Power 96.5 and 106.7 The River. And they continue to be here with updates throughout the night on uh, 94.7 KTTS. Now we have a, uh, another tornado warning uh, that has uh, come down just a second ago from the National Weather Service. We'll tell you about that one real quick here. KTTS Storm Chaser First Alert. National Weather Service issuing a new tornado warning. This is for central Laclede County. It also includes parts of Pulaski and Camden counties until 930 tonight. This is the storm that's in the Lebanon area right now, and it is uh, tracking off to the east very rapidly at 55 miles per hour. Tornado is possible with this storm. This is heading toward uh, southwest Fort Leonard Wood, Lebanon, and sleeper areas, as well as uh, Stoutland and Falcon. Again, this is a tornado warning. It is in effect for central Laclede County, and that goes until 930. 30 tonight and we will continue to sound those KTTS tornado warning tones as long as we have a uh, tornado warning in effect for any part of southwest Missouri and uh, we have a uh, new severe thunderstorm warning that has just been issued as well this is for Webster Wright and northeastern Christian counties until 945 uh, this is a storm that's capable of producing some 60-mile-per-hour winds. If you're in the Marshfield, Mansfield, Hartville, Seymour, Fordland, Niangua areas, this uh, is your storm. You're in the path of it. Uh, this is a severe thunderstorm warning for Webster, Wright, and northeastern Christian counties until 945. All right, so we will continue to track these, uh, but for the most part, the tornado warnings uh, have now expired for the Springfield metro area. We do still have several severe thunderstorm warnings. We still have tornado warnings for southeastern Christian County, down around the Highlandville area, Spokane, Oldfield, Chadwick, uh, and also northwestern Christian County. That warning goes until 915. We've had numerous reports of tornadoes and several reports of touchdowns across the area tonight. Uh, we have a potential for a tornado moving into the Lebanon area, Lebanon area that's increasing right now that word from the national weather service we have reports of a power out in highway d and farm road 241 in the rogersville area and uh let's see here flooding reported up in hickory county uh, south of wheatland that's one of the few areas where we haven't had a tornado warning i think tonight but we got flooding up in that area and also flooding uh covering a good chunk of southwest missouri flash flood warnings for parts of wright county Newton, McDonald, Barry, and Lawrence, Jasper, Dade. Some of these go until about 2 in the morning, 1.45 in the morning, a flash flood warning for Hickory and Cedar in Polk County, St. Clair County, northeastern Dade. And then we also have war flash flood warnings for parts of uh, Lawrence, Jasper, Barton counties, and uh, Webster and Wright counties as well. All right, we'll continue uh, with the normal programming now uh, and uh, then also come back on KTTS with the very latest watches and warnings. I'm Don Luzader, KTTS Storm Chaser Coverage. KTTS.